Hi and welcome to Tone Control, the program showcasing live performances by artists from the local independent music scene. Featuring on today's show are songs from Lama, formerly known as Lama Rama, and the band heavy on rhythm from drum and bass Zandepic. We'll also be chatting with John Flanagan. And to kick off the show, John Flanagan will be performing with his trio. You're watching Tone Control. Welcome back to Tone Control. Next up is a band who play together as well as live together. The eight band members come from a variety of different backgrounds, which provides a bigger variety of influences that all contribute to the unique style of indie pop rock that is Lama. Baby, 
Welcome back to Tone Control and our special guest on the couch today is John Flanagan from the John Flanagan Trio or as himself, John Flanagan. Welcome to the program, John. Thanks very much. And thanks for performing for us uh, with the other two friends of yours, Dan and Liz. That's right, yeah. Pretty interesting with that setup because uh, Liz plays uh, double bass and Dan plays a guitar and supposedly he's one of the best bluegrass guitarists in Australia. Yes, he is. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a real pleasure to play with him. He won a he won a scholarship, uh, one of the first uh, winners of the Bluegrass Scholarship, uh, run by the Davidson brothers. So yeah, he's a real. He's got some good credits to his name. And how did you put the trio together? Um, oh well, it was kind of just. I saw Dan playing uh, a year or two ago, and I kind of, you know, saw him playing. Loved loved his playing, and just asked him one day if he wanted to do a gig with me. And Liz, I met at a festival um, last year, end of last year, and yeah. We got her on board as well. Now you travelled uh, North America a few years ago, yeah. which included Nashville. Yeah, that's how, right. How was that trip? Yeah, well, I've been a couple of times. I, I went a few years ago, and I also went last year to record. Um, so when I first travelled, you know, it was, it was uh, amazing, really ex inspiring um, musically. Did a, did a few gigs and and checked out the place. And last year I went to record and just spent a month in Nashville, and that was great. Now tell us about this recording because you uh, you worked uh, on oh you worked on a new album with uh, Alison Krauss's brother. That's right, called? yeah, Victor Krauss. Victor Krauss, yeah, and um, yeah, I was I was amazing. Uh, he's a very well respected um, double bass player. You know, he's played with some amazing um, people, including Alison Krauss and Lyle Lovett. He tours a lot with and and. Um, uh, He's, he's a great, really friendly guy. You know, it was a little bit intimidating kind of walking into the studio on the first day because I was, there are all these musicians who've just got an amazing list of people they've played with, you know, and I know, and, and thinking, you know, being a bit scared, you know, to, to play with these guys, but immediately they were all just really friendly and, you now, know. Now, how did you find him or did he find you? Uh, Victor, um, I know I found him, you know, I was just looking for the perfect producer and I, yeah, I just kind of looked him up and dropped him a line and, and um, sent him my music and, and uh, he liked it and, and kind of agreed to be a part of it. So, and he yeah. just contacted you and said, look, let's make a date, come over to Nashville and re record an album. Yeah, well, it was a, it was a bit of a longer process because I had to raise some money to, to, you know, to pay for the whole thing. So, you know, there was an Arts Australia Council grant which um, I'm thankful for given that unfortunately it's been cut a little, back a little bit. Um, but also some crowdfunding mm -hmm. um, that, that I, I did, yeah. So you managed to raise the, enough funds to go over there. But the, the songwriting process, you'd, you'd write the lyrics and the chord progression, write and uh, basically record it as a rough demo. Yeah. And what, you'd just uh, send the, the files to him and he'd listen to it? Yeah, well, you know, they were all songs that I wrote and, and um, yeah, like I said, yeah, put them down and he 
together we kind of selected the songs, the final list of songs, and and um, and uh, he kind of had some concepts and ideas and for different players and arrangements. And so when yeah. you got to Nashville, it was pretty much uh, ready to go into the studio, ready to record. Basically, but, but I spent a day with Victor and we just t talked through all the songs and got some final plans worked out and then, yeah. And how was that experience? Because I think maybe you're the, the only Australians that the Australian that he's produced an album yeah, for. Yeah, Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, I believe so, yeah. Um, yeah, it was great. I mean, uh, you know, I guess because he does so much playing, you know, as a bass player and touring, you know, that he doesn't produce as much, you know. Um, but, you know, he's produced, he produced a great album by a, an artist called Angel Snow, and that's what really attracted me to working with him. Yeah. Now it's finally finished the album, and, and the album's going to come out pretty soon, and you're going to tour that as well. That's right, early 2016 is the, is the album. All right, and it's available now, so where can people uh, check out your new single? The single, yeah, it's on iTunes and Bandcamp, and um, they're the, probably the best places to get them. Through my website, you can find okay. the link. And your website is yeah. there? Yeah, johnflanagan.net. Pretty easy. That's it, Flanagan, all A's. All right, anyway, I think that's all we have time for, We're getting the wind up. John yeah, Flanagan, no. thanks for joining us on the couch and no performing problem. for us on the show. Pulled into St Kilda about half an hour early But I rang that doorbell right on time He said, oh, my name's Paul. But I already knew that We headed to my wagon By the faded street signs And I prayed she'd make the journey That old white 89 Camry But she didn't let me down The day I drove Paul Kelly From St Kilda into Melbourne town Songs of the every man, the every woman and child. If there's a torch that is passing on, every troubadour would stake his claim. There's lit a thousand fires, even more maybe with that flame. We climbed into the castle. Still some of us around. Not by choice, I blurred. Didn't mean to say that. Just trying to make a joke. Didn't quite make it off the ground. If that's a torch that is passing, what's well, one I carry proudly? But now I'll never live it down. The day I drove Paul Kelly from St. Kilda into Melbourne.
Welcome back to Tone Control. Our next band is a six piece that includes elements of reggae, funk, jazz, and dub. Described as a drum and bass band, they are Sandepic.
And that's the end of the show. We hope you enjoy the program and hope you tune in next week, same time, same channel. But before we go, if you'd like to contact us, send a message by email to tonecontrol at hotmail.com.au. Please visit our website at tonecontrol.tv, like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. We'll leave you with a song from Lama. See you later. It's not your fault, how could it be? You were the one that always tried to warn me. And as I fall, they fall on me. And everybody soon became a witness. And as they shine the light on me, there's just no need for this investigation. And as they shine the light on me, You'll be forced to remember that day. How couldn't we see there's just no reason for the violence? Said maybe in your office you'll be forced to take photos of your face. How couldn't we see there's just no reason? We Now we that we